Hello and welcome to this open day presentation for the Water Sanitation and Health Engineering MSc at the University of Leeds. My name is Dr Paul Hutchins and I'm a lecturer in Water Sanitation and Health based in the School of Civil Engineering and I'm programme leader for the course. In this presentation I'm going to introduce a little bit more about the School of Civil Engineering before going into detail about the Water Sanitation and Health Engineering course. I will provide an overview of the aims and scope of the course before explaining how the module structure and um, module topics work for the course. Um, we will then reflect on the dissertation um, and how that works within this course before going on to discuss the graduate opportunities um, that the programme offers. So why come and study an MSc at the School of Civil Engineering um, at Leeds? First of all, Leeds is a, a great university in a fantastic, vibrant city. So it, it, it represents a, a nice place to spend um, a year of your life studying. Um, in terms of the School of Civil Engineering, we really are one of the very best and top um, schools of civil engineering within the UK. And we're globally um, also uh, ranked very high in various league tables. The course itself is accredited um, by the Joint Board of Moderators of the leading UK uh, engineering councils. So you can complete the course as part of accreditation towards um, professional chartership within the engineering professions. But the course is not just focused on the engineering content. Actually, we're very proud that we run the course in partnership with the Nuffield Centre for International Health, which is one of the preeminent and leading international health research and education centres in the UK, which is also based um, at Leeds. So the Water Sanitation and Health Engineering MSc is really designed to provide learners with the key knowledge and skills to enable them to deliver high quality water supply, safely manage sanitation and other appropriate public health interventions um, with, a, with a focus in both urban and rural area, areas of low income and transitional economies. So we have this focus on um, lower income and middle income countries because that is where the problems around access to water, water supply and sanitation are most acute. So we're very proud of that international focus within the course. The course uh, delivers both um, technical education on how to design and operate these types of systems, but we also try and contextualize that knowledge by um, enabling, um, encouraging learners to reflect on um, the social, political and institutional contexts um, that will determine whether water and sanitation interventions actually work or not. So when we're thinking about who the course is for, we're really aimed at anyone that wants to upskill to tackle some of these fundamental global challenges linked to water sanitation and public health. We have a range of different um, learners that come on the course from established professionals seeking to upskill their knowledge and move their career to the next stage to recent graduates that are looking for a specialism um, that want to specialize in a in a core area that where they can deliver significant impact um, i would also like to reflect that we have both um, engineering and non-engineering background students. So as long as you're willing to come on and try and learn about these uh, topics, um, we are willing to consider you for the course as, as appropriate based on your academic record. So to talk about the course structure, um, the course um, is split into eight core modules with one um, dissertation module afterwards, which is uh, the significant piece of research you will do at the end of the MSc. In terms of the modules, we can group them into two high level groupings. So we have a, we have a group which is really about introdu introducing key issues and um, tackling topics from a cross disciplinary perspective. And so within that space, we have the key issues in international health module that um, introduce students to key uh, topic areas such as um, epidemiology, uh, global health policy, to try and contextualize some of the challenges we're working on. 
We then have uh, the engineering for public health module, which um, introduces um, to the kind of key engineering um, principles and controls that we implement to um, support public health across a range of areas through um, to the management of wash projects module, which is really about how we might design and manage a specific intervention or project. Um, and another module in this space is the engineering and emergencies module, which is all about trying to take some of the knowledge that we uh, teach across the whole course and thinking about humanitarian emergency response settings and what are the distinct challenges in, in, in those types of contexts. We then also have four modules which um, are focused on particular sector technical areas. So um, we have a module covering uh, wastewater and fecal sludge management. So how do wastewater systems um, work? How might we um, design an appropriate system thinking about the cost base and resources we have in a particular context? And also, of course, um, the the level of uh, treatment we want to deliver. Um, we have a module on water resource management, thinking about um, water within the environment and how we can capture and um, use that for um, delivering both human and, and biodiversity um, benefits. Um, we have a module focused on water supply, which is focused predominantly on the kind of domestic provision of water supply to households. Um, and thinking about things like pipe networks, um, the management of uh, water safety within a, a water system. And then we have a module thinking about solid waste management. So whether it's plastic waste or other forms of um, solid waste that um, need to be uh, controlled and managed within urban and rural landscapes. After that, we um, students then undertake um, an MSc dissertation. Um, the dissertations can include studies with primary data collection, often involving international travel. Um, those studies can work with existing data sets or secondary data sets doing numerical computational modeling um, or um, systematic or structured literature reviews with analysis of, of existing evidence. And the topics that can be covered um, are very diverse and range in areas, but include topics such as infrastructural design and optimization, um, assessing climate change and environmental factors related to water, water and sanitation, thinking about equity and human rights, um, modeling out economic costing analysis, thinking about health impact and behavioural studies as well. So there's really a diverse selection of potential projects that students work on. Um, and they make the decision uh, within the course about what topic and what faculty member they would like to work with on their dissertation. So in terms of after the course, where do our graduates go? The international water and sanitation sector is is really serious business. There are billions and billions of dollars going into the sector every year because there's a lot of infrastructure that needs to be developed, which is very capital intensive. So our graduates can go on to a range of different destinations from international development agencies and NGOs to um, engineering and management consultancies and other private sector operators in this space. Um, to public health ministries or departments in governments, particularly in low and middle income countries. Um, and there's also the route forward into the research space. So we have a very vibrant PhD community working in on water and sanitation and related issues. And people can do the masters and then move into the PhD route um, as another option. So if you're interested in the course or you have any questions that you would like to ask about it and any academic matters related to the course, please get in touch with me. My email address is um, on the page here, p.hutchins at leeds.ac.uk. I've also provided um, the inbox for the our admissions team that can answer questions about applying for the course and any administrative questions you might have. And finally, I've provided a link to the uh, Leeds WASH blog where we are um, published blogs um, 
about our research and also you can read about students that have been on the course recently and write about their experiences. So with that, I will bring us to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for listening.